Hey, Dave here from Adapt Girl Man. This is my first webcast, so it's gonna be a little awkward, I'm a little socially awkward, I'm a little shy, kind of an introvert. So I'm doing my best to try and do this. Um, what I'm here for today is to show you my Bumble Bong. Um, I know a lot of you pre-ordered it and you're curious as to is it shipped. Yes, it's shipped. It's on its way to you right now as we speak. Um, so I just wanna go over some of the features on this thing before it gets to you so you know how to use it. Um, so first off, obviously, it's made from a food-grade friendly silicone. It's the same that you keep your dabs in most of your, or your medication. Um, it weighs 900 grams or almost two pounds. This thing is heavy. It's not like any of the other pipes that you're going to find made out of silicone out there. This thing is a colossus compared to any of the other ones. Um, something else that it features is that it fits 14 or 18 on the downstem. It does work best with 14, but you can make it work with an 18. I know now some of you may have saw the prototype, which was like a bright green pitcher. Um, so last minute we decided that we wanted to make them glow in the dark. So that's why it's a palish white. Um, the palish white is actually because it's gonna glow in the dark and it glows incredibly bright green. I'm trying to charge one over here just slightly off camera. Um, Got a couple flashlights on it. I'm hoping it charges, but we'll see. Um, if you stick it in the sun for a few minutes, oh man, it grow, glows so bright. It will light up a freaking dark room. It glows so bright. Uh, some of the fun features on it is um, you can actually open it and clean it easy. There's two ways to open it. Obviously, you can just rip it open. Now, some of you may not just be able to rip it open, so there's an easier way to do it. So what you want to do is you want to probably move this just in case. You want to um, stick your thumb in like so. So then you kind of get a lip and then it actually will slide open a lot easier for you. Um, a few of the things on the inside, as you can see, it's very big. It's got a very large chamber, very hard to clear. Awesome. Your hits do not get stale. They stay nice and clean. So when you go to have a medication session, Oh, always perfect. Um, you'll see there's a tube in here. This tube is also made from a FDA food grade silicone. It's removable. So if you'd like to remove it, you can, but we recommend leaving it because then obviously you'll be tilting it back where the water would collect. Now for the top half, what makes the top half interesting is it has a uh, ice catcher. So you can pack the top half with ice. It is removable. You need to squeeze, it'll pop right out, no problem. And I'll just push it back in. And so now I'm sure some of you want to see, does it glow? And yes, it glows. Now I'm hoping this one glows well. I don't know. I just have like two kind of crummy flashlights on it. And there's only going to be, I think, a few spots that you can see that it might be glowing. But uh, let me just kill the lights real quick so you can just see it. Now I don't know, oh, it looks like the camera's picking up decently. Now that, keep in mind, was done with just two uh, like double D flashlights, like with just like an old school crappy light bulb, not even anything fancy, not even an LED one or anything. And that was after, they were probably only on it for a couple minutes, maybe five minutes. Uh, if you left that thing out on your patio in the sunlight, it would glow like a light bulb. Uh, let me get some lights back on because I know I'm sure some of you are curious as to, well, hell, the thing's made out of silicone. How can I dab out of it? Well, I'm about to show you. It is safe up to 600 degrees. And I happen to have here some over the moon kush. Now, for those of you who are local here in Michigan and just attended the Hash Bash, you will know that they just won first place with um, their over the moon kush. And as in they, they are actually, it's uh, Twiggy Extractions and Rip Tea Genetics in combination. They have great stuff, they're friends of mine. I highly recommend if you ever see any of their stuff anywhere, get it, it is always super tasty. Um, so I'm gonna obviously go ahead and take a dab of this. And uh, while I'm getting some of the dab ready, I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, Dab Egg XL a little bit. Some of you may already have gotten one, some of you may not, some of you may just have a regular egg. Um, for those of you with a regular egg and uh, may still be trying to play around with the temperature, we have found that uh, 47 seconds is the best time to wait after you've heated it up. I don't know, but 
47 seconds and you'll get a beautiful tasting uh, dab every time you have a session. Now for the XL, uh, I would say a minute and five seconds and you get that same premium medicated session each time that you wanna go and take a dab. So I happen to have an XL with me. I have my computer here with me because I'm actually just using it for a timer. I need to go get myself an egg timer, I realized after doing this video because I just normally use my phone's timer. And yes, I am shooting this on my phone right now because it's just easier and simple. And if I had my one buddy here who helps me do like the videos that we've been working on, he would have set wanted to set all this lights up. And I'm just trying to get this webcast done so you guys can see how this thing works. Um, so as you can see, I use a big, huge freaking welding torch. I don't care. It's easier. And I've done over 100 dabs out of this egg. I will release a video next week on how you can keep your egg always looking brand new no matter how many times you've dabbed out of it. Or for that matter, all quartz. Just heating this up. I like to heat the XL leg up to about the bottom quarter of it is just red. Not bright orange, but red. You don't want to heat it up too much because these suckers hold heat forever. And that looks good to me. I'm going to start my timer. Now, like I said, I have over a minute here to get my dab ready, so I'm not too concerned about it. I know the camera can't see it, but this stuff is like see-through gold. Freaking just smells so good. Tastes like... I don't even know. It tastes like the rainbow in your mouth or something. It's amazing. When they told me they were entering it into the cup, I told them that they were more than likely going to win because it just tasted amazing. And uh, so here we go. Just trying to get... And as you can see, this is about... I mean, you probably can't see, but my normal size dab is not some crazy huge slab that you see in that video floating around on the internet. And we do actually have another one coming up with the XL that I made. Uh... I just haven't had a chance to post it because we made some big changes around here. We actually are shipping everything out of our own warehouse again. We are no longer using a third party. It was a terrible situation for everybody involved. So with any, without further wait, I'm almost to a minute five. So I'm going to go ahead and take this dab. Now, I'm gonna actually leave some dab in here for a minute. It's actually filled still with a lot of dab. Um, something of no, I've noticed about silicone was that it will not get stale. It will actually hold its flavor and taste like a fresh medicated dab even if you let it sit around for a few minutes. Um, I mean, this has probably been sitting in here for a good 15, 20 seconds now. Obviously, there's a water seal on the bottom, my hand sealing the top, so it's pretty much sealed. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. And it still tastes like if it was a fresh dab. It doesn't get that stale, funky flavor. Um, something else about the silicone I've noticed is that you get a very, very clean, pure flavor of whatever it is that you may be dabbing. It doesn't have any type of additive. Whoops. Um, Almost melted my flashlight with the egg. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any other questions still about this thing, don't be shy. Go ahead and shoot me an email, shoot us a phone call, hop on the live chat, ask me any questions you may have. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And for all of you who pre ordered again, I thank you. You're going to love it when you get it. You're just going to be like, wow, this thing's freaking awesome. Once you get it in your hand, it's really freaking cool. And for those of you who haven't gotten one, if you just go ahead and scroll down, you'll see a link below where you can go ahead and get yours today while we still have them in stock. Uh, we don't have many left, I will say that. So um, I would say go ahead and get yours or, I don't know, go ahead and try it. It's a great pipe.